Hi guys, my name is Mehdi Razawan. I'm a staff engineer at Ceratech, and today I'll be showing you guys how to export results using FEMAP's data table. A little bit about us, uh, we are a company that will help you optimize uh, engineering solutions. Um, for myself, I am involved in using FEA on a daily basis, and FEMAP is my primary tool in doing so. Uh, we have plenty of other uh, YouTube videos, so if you guys want some more help or may, might have some questions regarding that, no, don't hesitate to give us an email um, or to check out our other content. Um, without that, with that being said, uh, let's get started. So I like really use the data table because it's probably one of the most efficient ways to export specific results using FEMAP. Uh, this is because data tables can quickly locate different entities. They can also specify results using uh, whatever criteria that you need them to be shown in, and they can also be exported um, in different ways. So whether you need to have that information stored in a text file or uh, maybe you have a Excel sheet. And with that being said, uh, let me show you guys this model um, to show you guys this example. So in this example, I'll be using a aircraft bracket. And in this model, I have a fixed uh, constraint on these two faces and a 200 pound load being applied on this face here. Um, as you can imagine, the stress concentration is then applied on this corner here. And I'm really interested in finding out what the max stresses are of these elements. Um, just to compare them to the rest of the model and to see if there's a big deviation um, in the stress. Now, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to post-processing. I want uh, my model to be uh, uh, as conservative as possible, and I'm going to do that by making sure that my data conversion is set to no element averaging. This will then uh, give me the highest value that NASGEN has calculated. You know, uh, at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and select the objects here and try to just populate my data table. So let's turn on the data table by going to tools and then data table. You'll notice that the data table option will then be, you know, uh, shown in the bottom left under your post-processing and model input toolbars or toolboxes. Um, the data table by default will then be locked, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to my uh, selector toolbox here and turn that to element so then I can then select my elements. So if I go down to here, I'm going to go ahead and click on the elements that I see here that are red. I'm going to click on uh, the selection option here to make sure that I'm selecting multiple and also to do front so I can then select the elements in the front. And you'll notice that with each click, my data table is then being populated. At this point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and see uh, which elements have the highest stresses. Um, but in order to do that, I need to uh, turn that option on in my data table. I can do that by clicking on Add Output Columns. And you'll notice then that uh, you'll have the option of showing all the different types of results that you can obtain from this model of the solid elements. So these options would obviously be different for plate elements and uh, beam elements and so on. I'm interested in the solid Vodemices stress here, so I'm going to click that checkbox and then press OK. Notice that the uh, data table columns are pretty populated and kind of clunky and I don't really need most of this information. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the update multiple columns option here right next to the save to a file option and click on update multiple columns. From this point I'm going to click quickly click the all off option and then I'm going to turn on the uh, ID, the type, and then the uh, solid von Mises stress option and then press OK. At this point I'll then have three columns that are populated and then the elements that I'm really interested in. And, and with that let's go ahead and export this information to a text file and I can do that by either saving to a file uh, let's just save that to my downloads for now 
um, and then save that as high stress elements. And then the columns will then show up here in that, in that uh, text file. Or, uh, better yet, I can always copy to the clipboard, go to an Excel sheet, and then paste that information with a, a simple control V, and then you'll see that the uh, options are then laid out. Um, that concludes the video. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call or uh, contact us. And um, uh, we have a lot of other content on the Saratech website, so if you guys want to see other cool things that you can do um, with other Siemens products such as NX, uh, please feel free to check that content out. Uh, and thank you guys for watching the video. And uh, um, uh, Again, please don't hesitate to give us a call.